uh, can you tell us a little bit um, about the difference between con- you know conventional medicine and functional medicine? Why do you feel that con- or, uh, functional medicine was more helpful than conventional uh, conventional medicine? And why didn't conventional medicine figure out what you had and can help? You know, like don't these doctors study for many, many, many years to figure out what people have and and then a lot of the time, like no, all your labs are normal and everything's right. fine. I think that's one of the most important questions I, I, today and one of the most important things for people to really understand. Yes. Every doctor wants to help. You know, every doctor is trained in a different field, right? Yes. And so when it comes to conventional medicine, the way I try to teach my patients is you go to an emergency room and they say, everything's fine. That means you're not dying, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so when you go to a conventional medicine doc, and they say everything looks fine, that means you're not diseased. Mm. So it's really disease care and sick care. Now there are some other doctors in the conventional medicine model that look beyond that, but that's really their training. They're there to look at the disease. If your labs are high or low, then you're in a disease state and give a medication Mm -hmm. or surgery or whatever. Mm -hmm. With functional medicine, And this is where people get lost is because they're going to the wrong place for a certain answer and a treatment. And it's not well, like well known. It should be, but it's not for me. It is. And it's like second nature. Right. But not everyone knows that. And it's very confusing to the average person that's just trying to seek out health care. Even as a doctor, it gets very confusing. Sure. As a patient being as a doctor being a patient yeah right so, every yeah. little part has its own like entire department yeah. right its yeah. own specialization yeah. So, yeah and functional medicine is what you know you could say we look for root cause issues mm-hmm. that are driving disease and it's really based on a patient-centered model so we spend you know time with a patient 30 minutes with a patient and we listen to the patient's history, trying to gather everything, like any other doctor. Mm -hmm. However, we're looking for root cause and we do specialty testing that maybe insurance might not pay for, but it's necessary to look at subclinical issues or even uh, disease, you know? Right. And so by doing the specialty testing, then we get a, 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 a plan of action and a treatment plan. And the treatment would be more lifestyle, nutraceutical, stress management. I mean, a lot of different you know, natural remedies and natural uh, um, models. 